Hello, Gabriella, the face painter from Insanity Family. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. Yay! You know what that means? Weekend! <laughs> but seriously, so in the case of Friday the 13th, what I wanted to do, and especially with Troublemaker was there, you know, hassling me to do, of course. Love you, man. There's not a drop of blood on me. Literally on the 11th is when I designed... What the hell did I do again? I made a homemade prosthetic gel uh, by Beauty by Brig. I'll definitely be putting that link in the description. She's really good. And because of that uh, video that she did of how to make the prosthetic gel, I was able to create that look and I loved it. So much fun. But anyways, so because of that look that I did on the 11th, I just was in no mood to have any blood today. That look was just bloody as bloody. And I loved it. And just today I did not want any blood. So because of all the, vi all the recordings I did today, and literally I made this look just today, unfortunately the video for the tutorial to make this is going to be late. I don't know how late, it's just going to be late in general. Literally it's taking, it's taking some time. Uh, right now I'm supposed I'm doing the editing but it is it's taking its time sadly so it's most likely not even gonna be uploaded even today at all not even finished not even touched today so I'm making this video hopefully I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible so I can still upload this and just have the actual tutorial up in a few days so literally it's just me talking about this look and what I did and but definitely my <laughs> Symbols. So anyways, so this look in particular, it uh, in the very beginning when I was starting face painting, uh, body make, um, special effects makeup, was that I tried to create this look to where my eye was missing. Uh, not, not, not specifically missing, but just in general like implying. And where my eye would be, uh, there would be like a special fishnet I would put over it, or a special mesh, sorry. To where I'd be able to see through it so I still have both my eyes, I still have my vision. Uh, not in this case. Literally today I wanted to go back into it and it was to where I didn't want to have that mesh over it again. I wanted to actually try and see can I actually cover my eye and make it look legit. Mm, not really. This look in particular, it definitely needs work. But you know what, I do like it. Even though, again, like there's not a drop of blood on it. <laughs> I really do like it. Uh, so what here, what I have, is literally just toothpicks that I just painted black. Uh, this was just to imply, like, you know, they were almost like uh, prison bars to kind of, you know, seal my eyesight. But um, I definitely had fun with this. This is literally just, um, this, is, this is what I've known to be called artist tape. But this is definitely what's under here. And then, of course, like, you know, tissue and latex. And then literally underneath that is a cotton ball which is protecting my eye from the tape itself. Which again, it's it's not, there's not a strong adhesive. It's not going to like stick to my eyelashes and then when I rip it off, it's going to rip the eyelashes off kind of thing. No, nothing like that. So like, again, like there's a cotton ball underneath to kind of keep my eyes, uh, to keep my eye like, you know, in check. So if I cover this eye, I'm just going to see gray technically because of the cotton ball really. Uh, definitely my sense of depth, my sense of depth, uh, has altered because of this, <laughs> but not in a big way, it's just a little bit. So, like, you know, definitely this look and you can walk around with it, of course. Um, and that's mostly it, like, this look wasn't, that wasn't that tricky. And I decided, like, you know, to add this in because, you know, prison bars, keep my eye in check kind of thing. And definitely add a little, um, little lock just purposely for that. And then here, now forgive me, I have to keep going back to my computer to keep looking at what the hell I even drew on myself, even though clearly I knew what I wanted. So anyways, uh, here in particular, is, this is Black Death. No particular reason, I just wanted kind of, not exactly negative, but words in particular that I can put together and they'll sound kind of, in a way, menacing or in a way negative. And here in particular, this is Strong Fight. 
This one is just mostly to where my best friend and I, we play fight. So it just gets really intense. And I literally thought of him when I was doing this and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> and so then here on my middle finger is, well, excuse, you know, excuse the middle finger. I'm not sticking it at anyone. Believe me, I'm not. I'm just trying to explain. <laughs> and this is prisoner. God darn it, I don't remember what I did there, I'm sorry. Um, I will definitely be putting the descriptions, I'm sorry everyone. I don't remember what I what these three were. No, hold on, this is sound, grave, metal. There we go, my apologies, I do remember. So this is sound, grave, metal. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, so that was mostly it. Like, that's like the simple look I, I was doing. Again, it's not a drop of blood, which you can do. So if you do somehow create this look, of course, in a different way. And if you do add something in the way of bars, or just in general, you add something into the eye, you can definitely add like the blood onto the puncture wounds. Which for these ones, they did not, uh, because the tape is in place underneath, it did not, you know, it did not touch my skin at all. And that's it. Oh, and then one other thing. Uh, before I even placed on the artist tape, what I did was actually used um, the school glue. I used this guy. And just kind of like uh, glued my eyebrow down. And I really like it too. Very simple. And it brings back memories of using this. So I did that first. And then that's when I put the, to the first the cotton ball, then the tape, then the latex and tissue. So it's not really a lot, of course. So then, what I'm doing right now, I'm still going to edit the video, and sadly it is going to be late, so I highly apologize. I really need to work on my deadlines, and that's definitely something I'm going to be doing for the future. But I created this video specifically to talk about this look, because I can't do the tutorial for today, and that's what the whole purpose was for the tutorial, was for Friday the 13th. So this video is just, um, is for that, it is like a substitute for it for now. So. And hopefully you like this video, hopefully you look at the channel, you look at the other videos we have, and you know, like, just thank you for looking, for even looking at this video, guys. It means a lot, honestly. I get to show my work as well, I get to uh, bring more attention to Troublemaker, and just in general, like, to the Insanity family. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And again, happy Friday the 13th. Have a great weekend. If you guys are going to go out, you know, be safe. So again... Have a great weekend, have a great night in particular, and just have freaking fun, everyone. No matter what you do, whatever you find fun, do it. Like me, this is what I find fun. <laughs> but anyways, so thank you again for watching this video. Happy Friday the 13th, everyone. And I will still be giving the tutorial. It will most likely come in in just the next few days, at least of next week. It should be uploaded. But again, so... Again, thank you so much and have a great day.